Hello everyone and welcome to Physics Teacher. This is a brand new podcast that I'm starting where I'm going to talk about the history of science. In our first episode, we're going to look at Maxwell's equations and a bunch of the different scientists that contributed to the eventual formulation of the equations we know and love today. Let's get started. Maxwell's equations are a set of four fundamental equations that describe how electric and magnetic fields interact and propagate through space. These equations were developed by James Clerk Maxwell in the 19th century and are essential in the field of electromagnetism. The development of these equations was not the work of a single individual, but rather a culmination of the contributions of several scientists. One of the earliest pioneers in the study of electricity and magnetism was Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday, a renowned British scientist is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the history of science. Faraday's experiments on electromagnetic induction laid the groundwork for the concept of a unified electromagnetic force. Faraday's most famous achievements include his discovery of electromagnetic induction, the principle behind the electric generator and transformer, and his work on the nature of electricity and its relationship to chemical reactions. Despite his scientific brilliance, Faraday remained humble and dedicated to his work. He was known for his clear and accessible explanations of complex scientific concepts, and his lectures at the Royal Institution were hugely popular, attracting large audiences. Faraday's commitment to science and his desire to share his knowledge with the public made him a beloved figure in the scientific community and beyond. His famous Christmas lectures for children are still run today by noted scientists. Another important figure in the history of Maxwell's equations is Carl Gauss. Carl Friedrich Gauss, often referred to as the Prince of Mathematicians, was a German mathematician who lived from 1777 to 1855. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential and prolific mathematicians of all time, having made significant contributions to various fields of study. Gauss displayed exceptional mathematical abilities from a very young age. He is said to have been able to calculate complex mathematical problems in his head before he even started attending school. In addition to his work in mathematics, Gauss made significant contributions to the study of electromagnetism, particularly in the field of mathematical analysis. His work on the theory of electric potential and the law of magnetic force helped pave the way for Maxwell's later developments. Despite his immense contributions to the world of science and mathematics, Gauss remained a relatively private and reserved individual. He was not known for seeking out recognition or fame, and he often shied away from the public eye. Nevertheless, his impact on the scientific community and the world at large is undeniable. Moving on, we have André-Marie Ampère, a French mathematician and physicist who is widely recognized as one of the founding fathers of the field of electromagnetism. Ampère's early life was shaped by the tumultuous political climate of the French Revolution. As a young man, he witnessed the upheaval and violence of the revolution, which had a profound impact on his worldview and approach to science. He was also very absent-minded and once forgot to attend an invitation to dine with the Emperor Napoleon. Despite the challenges, Ampère remained dedicated to his studies and quickly established himself as a brilliant mathematician and physicist. Ampère's most significant contribution to the field of electromagnetism was his formulation of the mathematical theory of electromagnetism, Ampère's Law, which describes the magnetic field produced by a current-carrying conductor, which he published in 1827. This groundbreaking work laid the foundation for the understanding of the relationship between electricity and magnetism, and it earned Ampere the title of the Newton of Electricity. His discoveries, including the concept of the Ampere as a unit of electrical current, 
have had a lasting impact on the field of physics and continue to be studied and applied today. Despite his many accomplishments, Ampere's personal life was marked by tragedy. In 1803, his wife and infant son died, leaving him devastated and reclusive. Today, Ampere's legacy is celebrated around the world. His unwavering dedication to the pursuit of scientific knowledge have earned him a place among the greatest scientists of all time. James Clerk Maxwell, born on June 13, 1831 in Scotland, was a renowned physicist who made significant contributions to the field of electromagnetism. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential scientists in history, whose work laid the foundation for modern physics. James Clerk Maxwell brought together the work of Faraday, Ampere, Gauss, and others to form a comprehensive set of equations that describe electromagnetism. In 1864, he published A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field, in which he unified the previously separate concepts of electricity, magnetism, and light into a single comprehensive theory. This work, which is often referred to as Maxwell's equations revolutionized the field of physics and laid the foundation for the modern understanding of electromagnetic phenomena. The story continues with Oliver Heaviside, a renowned British electrical engineer and mathematician who was a pivotal figure in the development of modern telecommunications. Born in 1850 in London, Heaviside's life was marked by a remarkable intellect and a passion for scientific exploration. Heaviside's most significant contribution to the field of telecommunications was his work on the mathematical modeling of electromagnetic phenomena. He developed a set of equations now known as the Heaviside Operational Calculus, which revolutionized the way engineers and scientists approached the analysis of electrical circuits and the propagation of electromagnetic waves. This groundbreaking work laid the foundation for modern telecommunications and paved the way for the development of technologies such as radio, television, and the internet. Additionally, Oliver Heaviside made significant contributions to the mathematical formulation of Maxwell's equations. Heaviside reformulated Maxwell's original equations into the form we recognize today, using vector calculus to express the relationships between electric and magnetic fields. His work helped simplify and clarify the equations, making them easier to understand and apply. Despite his significant contributions to the field of telecommunications, Heaviside's life was not without its challenges. He was often at odds with the scientific establishment of his time and faced significant criticism and opposition from his peers. However, his unwavering dedication to his work and his willingness to challenge the status quo ultimately led to his recognition as one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century. All these individuals laid the groundwork for Maxwell's equations for electromagnetism, which continues to have a profound impact on modern physics and technology.